All right, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we're gonna be talking about when to expect your peak fall foliage. I did this video for the past couple of years and it's always been one of the fan favorites. I'm always so excited to see those first fall colors and I'm sure you guys anticipate it as well. So we're gonna be talking about when you can expect that to occur within this video. Anyway, as always, be sure to smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe for more weather-related content. For today's comment of the day, I want to know which is your favorite tree to see the fall colors of? Mine is a sugar maple. I just think it has the most beautiful colors in the world. Let me know what your favorite tree is, though, and I'll be picking one of those for tomorrow's video. Let's get straight into this video, and first things first, we're taking a look at our first layer here. Uh, so we're going to be doing a layered kind of forecast here this is the peak foliage this is on average so this isn't anything particular for this year or last year or any year this is more based on the averages from recorded history here in the united states so quite a while we've been recording you know when these peak fall foliages happen uh, we're taking the average of that number so this first layer or i should say layers because there's just different regions here we see people up there in northern new england uh, we see the folks up there in northern Minnesota, in between Wisconsin and the UP up there, and then a lot of the Rockies here. They expect to see their peak fall foliage there in late September here in this brown shade. So sometime between September 15th and the very end of September is when you can expect that peak fall foliage for a lot of these folks. Now it's right now when I want to remind you guys that at the end of this video I'm going to be showing you guys our most up-to-date fall forecast temperatures and precipitation at the end of this video because obviously that's gonna help dictate whether it's gonna be a little bit earlier or later than this map shows, because this is expecting, you know, this is according to average temperatures and average precipitation. If you see below average temperatures, you could see an, all, an earlier fall foliage than what is average here. So we're just gonna be comparing. Uh, so obviously, like I said, that's at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Here is our second layer, and this is gonna be our early October layer here. So this is gonna be between uh, October 1st and October 15th here. So you can see basically most of the Rockies are included by this point. A lot of the upper Midwest and the northern Great Lakes regions, basically just M Michigan. Uh, we see a lot of the peaks there in the Smoky Mountains, some of the Appalachian Mountains getting included as well. Uh, a lot of New England and upstate New York and the northern central regions of Pennsylvania are also included here in this early October region here for the fall foliage so again the browns is later september so september 15th to the end of september now this more burgundy color is going to be from the very beginning of october to middle of october and in a minute what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the regions who can expect to see their uh, fall foliage near the middle point of october and then eventually late october and then at the very end november and then again we're going to take a look at that fall forecast in a minute like i said All right, now here is our mid-October region. And as you can see, actually like half the country or so, maybe a little bit less is included here by this point. Maybe more, maybe less, it's hard to say. But this bright red region is where they expect to see their fall foliage around October 15th, that peak fall foliage. So sometime between maybe the 7th and the 14th of the month or so. Uh, kind of that, you know, second, third week time frame actually. So maybe even the 21st or so. Uh, somewhere in there is when you expect to see your peak fall foliage in this bright red region. Obviously, there's uh, many, many folks in, included here in these regions. Uh, so a lot of you are expecting around that middle point of October to be in your peak fall foliage. Let's take a look at our next layer, and this is our late October region. So perhaps the final week of October is when this kind of more yellow shade expects to see uh, their peak fall foliage, so areas like most of Washington, Oregon, a lot of California included there, Kansas, Missouri, I'm seeing a lot of you guys in there. Uh, you all expect to see it kind of in that final week of October, for the most part, that peak fall foliage. All right, now we have one more layer to go over here, and this is our November layer. So this is early, mid, and late November. Somewhere in there, you expect to see your fall foliage for all of these kind of tan regions. A lot of Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Eastern Virginia, the Delmarva as well, and then Northern Florida. If you were outside of this color shade, so let's say you don't have a shade over your region, you're in Southern Texas, Southern, Southern Florida, Southern California, somewhere in there, you don't necessarily expect to see much of a fall foliage at all. If I mean, little if anything, as far as fall foliage is concerned. And, and quite frankly, a lot of the November 
areas there, they don't really see much colors. It's, it's a very different type of fall foliage. Uh, after making a lot of these fall videos, I've learned from many of you who live much further south than me uh, that it is kind of like they kind of just the leaves pretty much just die and then fall off. It's not that, you know, vivid red, vivid yellow, and then kind of turning dry and then falling. It's just kind of straight to the dry part and then falling off which is obviously a little bit disappointing, uh, but you do expect to still see some fall foliage technically for those regions, but it's hardly a fall foliage. It's interesting how there's so much of a difference, you know, between different regions, like what the seasons bring and stuff, because it's just so different than many regions in the north. Um, you know, we go through a lot of colors with leaves that are not dry yet for the most part. They're just very colorful, and then eventually they dry up and fall off. So super interesting to see the differences there. In a moment, what we're finally going to do is present our, this was from our second fall forecast, actually. We're going to take a look at the below average precipitation, above average precipitation, below average temperatures, and above average temperatures as well in just a moment. All right, now here we are taking a look at those below normal precipitation areas. And here's the important thing to note. Uh, when you have more dry conditions, it sometimes help you, it helps you get those kind of earlier than average fall foliage. Uh, you know, the, the more wet you're seeing of conditions, more rainfall, it really just leads to those leaves being able to stay alive a little bit longer. The colors also look a little bit different sometimes depending on precipitation. I've noticed more yellows in some more wet falls uh, and more reds in the more dry ones. So there is some implications for sure, uh, but definitely these areas could see slightly earlier than average um, fall foliage in these more dry areas especially if combined with below normal temperatures, which we will see in a moment. But for these two regions, we expect above average precipitation, which again, might lead more towards some of those yellows as opposed to reds. From my experience, it's more of a personal thing. I've never, you know, really done any technical research on that. I've never, um, you know, been told that that's just personal observations. So it might be completely correct, might be slightly correct, and it might not even be correct at all. But from my personal experience, more rain equals more yellow. Uh, so these two areas up there are going to be experiencing that. Could lead to a later than normal foliage, though. Here's our above normal temperatures, and there's implications here, like I said, as well. Uh, maybe a little bit of a later fall foliage for some of these warmer regions here. Um, and definitely California, Nevada, some of those regions don't expect to get any, like I said before. Uh, but for the areas that do, it could be a little bit later. And as well as the east coast here, the eastern seaboard could have maybe a week late or so with the fall foliage. But for the central United States and the Northwestern United States, uh, areas that do see very beautiful fall times. Uh, look at that. Really, really below normal temperatures here for especially the southern United, or sorry, the central United States, um, especially the north central United States as well. I really feel like this could lead to an earlier than normal fall foliage for a lot of you, especially the darker you go into the blues and especially those areas that are combined with the below normal precipitation as well. I think this is really going to lead to a more beautiful and, and technically a more uh, early fall foliage for a lot of you folks up there in the north central United States and the central United States as well, uh, and even down, or sorry, up into the Pacific Northwest. So to recap, again, the two coasts for the most part, except for the Northwest, expecting a little bit of a later fall because of those warmer than normal conditions, but throughout the central United States and the Northwest could be a little bit earlier due to those colder than normal conditions. By the way, I do expect to make at least one more update on this final, or it will be the final fall for forecast towards the end of August because meteorological fall is on September 1st. And here at Direct Weather, we observe meteorological seasons, not the you know ones on the calendar. So September 1st is when we're going to switch to fall mode. Uh, and our final fall forecast will either be released on September 1st or a couple of days earlier than that. So you're going to want to be paying attention, waiting for that. Uh, subscribe for the latest updates, obviously, from us. For today's confidence tab, considering this is based on your averages, this isn't necessarily a forecast, we're at a 6 out of 6 since this is just your average. I'm very confident this is your average, so <laughs> pretty easy. For today's patron highlight of the day, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel, but especially our platinum patrons, John Ben Benick, James Wade, Dovey Nagel, Lil Pan, and Donna Carnes, alongside our diamond patrons, Bill Roberts, Marcus Connolly, Noah Harley, Michael Cotalesa, Cat Bite, Charles Tennant, Cindy Klein, Mark J, Luke Falego, Gary, John Khaleesi, Dwight Balin, and Stephen Crenenthal. If you would like to be part of this exciting patron entry today, you can do so by joining our very exciting Patreon page in the description and in the pinned comments down below. I would also like to thank our channel members, Harry Farms 1 and Cat Bite as well. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to destroy the like button. 
leave a comment down below as well because those two things help me out tremendously and also subscribe for more weather related content as we're going to be updating you guys constantly throughout this hurricane season fall time and winter time with the snowstorms uh the hurricanes the normal storms all sorts of stuff going on subscribe for more of that i will see you guys in the next video